Of all the beautiful beaches down the coast on Highway 1 between Half Moon Bay and Santa Cruz, Bean Hollow is one of the favorites. Just 18 miles south of Half Moon Bay and 2 miles south of the Pescadero Turnoff, Bean Hollow is really two beaches in one. On the south end is the Bean Hollow Beach with its wide sandy shore and on the north the beach here is made up of small pebbles tumbled smooth as they are rolled by the ocean waves over and over again. This is also where you'll find the tide pools. There is parking at both ends and dogs are allowed on leash. There is a one mile self-guided walking tour between the two beaches and if you're lucky you'll get a close-up look at some harbor seals. The trail is also one of the best places along the coast to see a large area of undisturbed native coastal plants. The beach was originally known as Arroyo de los Frijoles and was once part of Rancho Butano. Besides the delightful pebbles of agate, jasper, and moonstone at the North Beach, you will also see some classic beautiful patterns in the rocks called tafoni. Tafoni are small cave-like indentations found in granular rocks such as sandstone or granite. While some tafoni looks like someone took a stick and poked holes in a rock, others take on the look of intricate lace. It's quite amazing to see, and right here at Bean Hollow is one of the few places in the world you will find this phenomena. The conditions of the wind and sand have to be just right to create the patterns, and that's one of the reasons you will also find Tafoni in the deserts. When the tide is out, Bean Hollow will reveal its large number of tide pools. These amazing pools are home to many different animals who must continuously adapt to the constant changing conditions of the ocean, the sun, and predators. Take a close but careful look and you will see crabs, hermit crabs, sea stars, chitons, mussels, and more. Because of the riptides, cold water, jagged rocks, and the presence of sharks, Bean Hollow is not a good swimming or water sports area, but it is a great place to picnic and explore the rocks, sea life, and the tide pools. Bean Hollow North has a modest parking lot and a public restroom. The trip to Bean Hollow is well worth the effort.